minutes, and you're walking by Intel, perfect timing, hang out for a little bit. Get yourself a good view of the chopper and of the screens up there, all right? Oh, yeah. Just listen to that beautiful sound. Oh, yeah, that's the sound of power. The power of the world's first and only Intel chopper, designed and built by Orange County Chopper. That's right. This amazing machine was built by the Tuttles, those guys from the TV show, American Chopper. Now they're famous for designing and building awesome, one-of-a-kind choppers. And that is exactly what they built for Intel. I gotta tell you, this chopper is totally unique because this is the world's first motorcycle to be so highly computerized. You know, it's also the most powerful bike that Orange County Choppers has ever made. We're talking about delivering 250 horsepower generated by the chopper's four big cylinders in a V quad engine. Now the quad here is very symbolic, all right? Because earlier this year, Intel introduced the world's first series of quad core standard processors for the embedded market. Quad core. Can you imagine the processing power? And when you step near the bike here and check this out, take a look what's embedded in the gas cap, okay? The new embedded quad core Intel Xeon processor. Now, these processors are designed to help you power up your innovation. But what's helping this chopper power up? Well, it's the low power consumption Intel Core Duo processor from a world leader in embedded intelligence. That's right, Intel. But hey, why the special plan? What is the point? Well, the point is that Intel is celebrating 30 years in this industry. So, the Intel Embedded in Communications Group said, hey, let's make a big deal out of it. So they teamed up with Orange County Choppers. And this is the result. A monster machine designed to kick butt in a highly intelligent way. Now, let me show you some of the embedded smarts, all right? Starting with the brains of the chopper, this is ruggedized mobile computing device from Black Diamond Advanced Technology. Now, this is designed to take whatever abuse life on the road can deliver. And inside, it's got a low-power Intel Core dual processor. So, it, it has what it takes to control just about everything on this machine, no problem. The fact is, everything on the bike is integrated with the computing system. Even the kickstand is controlled by embedded intelligence. And there's plenty more, starting with the ignition system, all right? It's the ignition system. It's uh, controlled by fingerprint recognition software. Cool. Now for rear view mirrors, forget about it. You've got rear view cameras, all right? With their images seen right there on the digital dashboard. That's right, I'm talking about a sunlight viewable digital dashboard where you've got your displays for all of the traditional indicators, like speed, tag, battery, and turn signals. You've also got access to GPS navigation. But there's more, because this digital dashboard also functions as a super rugged mobile PC. It's even got a QWERTY keyboard and Wi-Fi connectivity, so you could use it to surf the internet, download music, uh, read emails, write reports, even download roadmaps, hopefully not while you're screaming down the highway. But actually no problem, because this PC is fully detachable, so you can unplug it and take it wherever you want. And for almost as long as you want, because it's battery life has been extended in several ways. First of all, the battery is constantly recharged while the bike is operating. And uh, check this out, huh? This battery gives you an amazing hot swap capability that lets you leave your PC applications running while you do the swap. I mean, this PC is definitely cool. Hey, the only thing hot about the chopper is the paint job, okay? Because the processor is designed to keep the PC's temperature low. So, great bike, powerful, super capabilities. But what's it all leading to? Well, it's leading to me telling you what you probably already know, and that is that Intel provides you with technologies that are as unique as this chopper. I'm talking about the ultra-low power consumption that allows you to put processes into tight, closed spaces with little or no cooling mechanism, okay? And I'm talking about the kind of high-performance processing that supports multiple software applications. And I am talking about integration with almost every available computing platform. And you know I gotta talk about a life cycle support of five to seven years. And a lot of people are talking about processes based on the advanced 65 nanometer process technology. You know the technology to help you get small and make it happen, yeah? But now, what's next? Well, maybe you can uh, modify this to become a police bike, adding uh, breathalyzers to the system, or facial recognition software to help find a missing child. Or maybe that rear view camera could be mounted on the front, along with license plate recognition software to help identify stolen cars. Now, of course, transportation is just one of dozens of applications where Intel is embedded. 
Actually, you know, you get a good idea of all of the possibilities when you check out the demos here in the booth, where you're going to see that there's virtually no limit to where Intel can go. I mean, you can find Intel at work in uh, medical systems, interactive clients, industrial automation, in-vehicle infotainment, military and government, gaming, and, of course, communications infrastructure. That's an area where the Intel Embedded Communications Group has been supporting from their beginning big time. Bottom line, Intel processors for the embedded communications market are able to go just about anywhere. It's cool. It's possible. But it's all the kind of thing that calls for your special genius, okay? So let your imaginations go crazy. Come up with something wild. The world is counting on you. Just the way it's been for 30 years, you can count on Intel, all right? Now, come on into the booth. Check out the demos that are happening here. We've got insult demos, third-party demos, and we've got uh, demos that include some unique innovations from the finalists of the Intel Innovate and Ignite Technology Showcase. All right? So come on and take some pictures and check out the demos. Thanks for stopping by. Good day.